Hi, my name is Dr. David Culla. Today I'm going to show you how we use a uh, self-help hiatal hernia tool called the hiatal hernia hook. This is a item that I've patented and um, we're going to go ahead and just show you guys how to use this. And the reason why we're creating this video is because we don't want this used wrong, you know, in, in an incorrect way. Uh, it's important that this is done the right way and there's some specific directions. So I want you guys to watch this. Um, and we have Jeremiah here that's allowed us to film this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up from the belly button all the way up to where the ribs meet the sternum and that's called your xiphoid process. So you'll feel your sternum, your breastplate, as you go down, you'll feel it dip down and there's no more bone there. That's that point, that xiphoid point. You can also come up from the uh, belly button and wait till it becomes hard, right, bony, and that's the, again, the xiphoid process. Then we're gonna move over about a half inch, okay? And then I'm gonna just place some, you can either use Vaseline or lotion, skin lotion, body lotion, and just gonna place a little amount there. And now, this right here is the skin applicator. Okay, so this part here touches the skin with this part facing up, okay? Just like this. Now you'll notice we're going in with that blade at an angle and we're trying to get underneath the ribs a little bit because the stomach and the left uh, lobe of the liver is in the way a little bit. So what we're doing is trying to get a little bit underneath that rib to catch and move, move the lobe of the liver, the bottom lobe, and then catch that stomach. And you'll notice here, again, I'm a half inch off the xiphoid process. And notice how I have this stem at a 45 degree angle facing down towards his feet. So we're going to have him apply pressure with each exhalation. And you're going to go ahead and put this hand on top first and put it right on top here. Yep. And what I want you to do is apply pressure, a little bit of pressure, and increase that pressure with each exhalation, keeping the ball of the handle at a 45 degree angle down. And once, um, and, and it may take 30 seconds or a minute for you to relax your stomach, and that's okay. You wanna make sure you're on your back, and if possible, a pillow under your knees so the knees are bent to try to take some slack out of the, the stomach muscles, you know, just to keep them loose here. And the idea is to relax the abdominal wall, and he's applying pressure with each exhalation. Once you start to feel um, pulsation, you can stop applying pressure and then slowly, and let me know when you're there, okay? And then you'll slowly bring the ball of the handle up towards you. So just let me know when you're there and then we'll go ahead and yeah, show right, it. Right, right. You got, got it there? It. Okay, now apply consistent pressure, bring the ball of the handle up at a 45 degree angle towards your head. Yep. And while you do that, you'll then start to slide the tool down, applying and maintaining consistent pressure throughout. Keep coming up with the ball of the handle and it will slide down your stomach. Keep going, keep going with the ball of the handle and it's a scooping motion. Good. Just like that. And you're maintaining consistent pressure throughout. Good. And what's important, you'll notice that it didn't start sliding down his stomach until he, he brought the um, handle at this angle here. Look how it goes flat, the blade. It's very important that you start at a 45 degree angle facing downward you end at a 45 degree angle facing downward and then slide down. So 45 degree angle downward, 45 degree angle upward, maintain that consistent pressure and scoop it and slide that stomach down. We're gonna go ahead and show that again, okay? I think you did a great job on that one. So this one might take a little bit um, less time for you to get you know, the blade in there a little deeper. And just let us know when you're ready. 
and you'll feel some pulsation, like a light pulsation through right. the steel, right? Yeah. You feel that? I do. Okay. Make sure you go all the way to 45 degree, apply that pressure consistently. Good, good. And you'll do three to five repetitions of that once a day. Now, if it's sore tomorrow, mm -hmm. wait a day, and you'll do three to five repetitions once every other day. Okay. okay, and then eventually as it's getting better and the symptoms, the GERD and the acid reflux is getting better, you'll be able to do it maybe once every three or four days, once a week or twice a week, okay? Sounds good. All right. Mm -hmm.